so it's got two connections headphone connections so you can connect it to the socket on the airline now for me when I was flying by Emirates all I needed to do was just push this in because there's two sockets on the Emirates but if you've got only one input socket then you can use connect this this cable here and it will connect into the socket like that so you may need that you may not and then for charging the device you've got a small charging cable and uh, you just plug this in like that and just plug it in and you can use it while it's charging So to summarise, in my opinion, this is a very good device and really improved my experience of the airline's onboard entertainment. I used it on an Emirates flight on a recent holiday to Thailand and found the sound quality to be very good with no noticeable audio lag when used in conjunction with my JBL T450BT Bluetooth headphones. This enabled me to enjoy the passive noise reduction of my JBL headphones which considerably reduced the background noise from the aircraft and fellow passengers compared to using the airline's provided headphones. The battery life was also excellent and I managed to use this device for both my outward and return flights without charging it, which must have been close to the stated 9 hours of battery life. Even when the battery did finally run out, I could then plug in the USB charging cable and was able to keep using it while the device recharged. The stated battery charge time is 2 hours. So overall I give this device a 4 out of 5 rating. First of all, hold this down for 6 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right. Flashing red and blue means it's in pairing mode. Now we can switch the headphones on and switch them into pairing mode. Like that. So that's in pairing mode. So they hold them to, next to each other. Now that hasn't worked for me. It's still, it's still trying to trying to find each other. So what I'm going to try is doing it in a different order because it's still trying to find it. it hasn't found it. So I followed the instructions. So I'm going to try a different order now. So let's. Let's switch this off. Right, wait till it flashes red. That should be off now. Let's, let's uh, switch my headphones off. Okay. So now let's try with the switching the headphones on first. So I'll get my headphones into pairing mode first. So I press the press the button down to get them into pairing mode. Okay, so now headphones are in pairing mode. So now let's switch the Bluetooth device on. Get that into pairing mode. Okay, red and blue. Now it's connected. So obviously, the best way for these headphones, anyway, for me, is to make sure that the headphones are set into pairing mode first before the Bluetooth device. Okay, just to prove that it works, as I don't have an airplane handy, I do have my iPhone 5, so I connect it to my iPhone 5. So I will need to use the cable adapter. So I just plug this in here, and then I can connect it with this phone socket. Put it in there, like that. 
Okay, so to play one of my videos and Hi, it's Super Tom. I'm Tom's Technic News. I'm here to save you from your technical nightmares. Nightmares? Don't forget to subscribe.